Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna say, welcome back if you're new here. <laughs> I can't ever get an intro right. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a Walmart grocery haul and I'm also just gonna bring you along with our on our day. So let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna have to eat. <laughs> Starting over here, we have some shrimp, some sausage. We've never tried this, but Dylan plans on doing like a shrimp boil with it, so that's the plan with that. We also have some chicken thighs here, and this will make two dinners. Some ribs, pork chops, and five pounds of ground beef. I, by the way, if you've never seen any of my grocery hauls, I always list like our entire meal plan down in the description box below so you can get an idea of what I plan on making with, with all this food. Moving on over here to the little drink pile, we have Coke, Sprite, a case of waters, some Capri Sun waters, um, Mountain Dews and a big bag of Iams dog food for our dogs. Okay, so over here on this side, we got a lot of little stuff, so I'm gonna try to get through it pretty quick. So starting here, we have some eggs, some Go-Gurt, a Tony's pizza, which I'm about to make that in just a minute. We have some Raymond noodles, the beef and chicken, some goldfish, the Totino, Tostino's, <laughs> whatever, the pizzas. We have the little four pack there. Some broccoli. Some fine green beans, we got two packs of those. We have some hot dogs here, a salad, um, Swiss cheese, ketchup, some kosher baby dill pickles, some sweet cream butter unsalted, and then I have some golden potatoes. Um, I usually like dice these up, serve them as a side, make mashed potatoes, potato soup, or baked potato. They're so good, potatoes are a staple in my house. Um, I don't know if I said Cheerios, but we got Cheerios. Back here in the back, we have some tortilla chips, some chicken nuggets, salsa for the tortilla chips, some coffee, au jus gravy mix. Basically, that's exactly what we're going to make. It's what you see right there. Just au jus sandwiches, and we dip it in the au jus sauce. And then we're going to have chili one night this week, so I got some chili, or like a chili seasoning packet, um, two loaves of bread, hot dog buns, milk, fruit punch, we got the syrup, sour cream, what is this, oatmeal? Um, we eat oatmeal for like lunch and breakfast. We always have that on hand. And then I have the um, French bread for the au jus sandwiches. Then we have some baking soda. Um, I got some garbage bags, we were almost out, so I grabbed those. Moving on, we got some packs of macaroni and cheese that will probably be for a lunch. We also got the deluxe one. This is the one we like to use for dinner. And then we have a bunch of the Bumblebee tuna salad kits. These are so good and I always forget about them and I don't order them for a while, and then when I see them, I'm like, oh, I love those. <laughs> They're so good cold, so definitely um, get those if you've never tried them before, if you like tuna salad. They also have a chicken salad one that's pretty good, too. Um, anyway, over here we have some chili beans, um, Hormel chili, and then black beans. I'm going to make like a, a crock pot chili, and I am going to cheat and throw that in there just so it tastes good. <laughs> and then, did I show you all the ketchup? I think I did. We'll get ketchup, roast beef, black forest ham, some kosher dill pickles, and some coleslaw. And moving to the side, we have some corn that will be used for the shrimp boil. Um, what else? Bananas, apples, lemons, some garlic, onion, strawberries, and grapes. I ordered the green grapes and they substitute them with these, and these do not look appetizing at all. Um, I'm not a fan of the red grapes, so we'll see. But that was my little grocery haul. All right, y'all. I just broke a sweat putting all the groceries away. Um, I had to go through my fridge really quick because I didn't do that. So I had to quickly run through it and get out all the old stuff and throw it away and then throw everything in there. And I should have filmed it, but I just, you know, sometimes like, I know a lot of you aren't YouTubers and you don't film stuff. So like I completely understand you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But whenever you are on YouTube, a lot of times like you want to film every single thing you do and that's whenever I like I talked about in the past like finding that happy medium and knowing when you're ready to film when you want to film and when you don't want to film and I just did not want to film that to be honest it I do not like going through my fridge it's probably up there with laundry I don't like doing laundry that much I've kind of gotten a better system of laundry so it's not so bad but cleaning out the fridge is like that top top two I don't like to do so I had to do that because there was no room to put anything because there was a bunch of leftovers in there. And um, we got a lot of groceries this week because last week we only did like a fill-in haul. We didn't buy a lot of food. We just kind of ate what we had on hand. 
so we needed to stock up on meats again and stuff like that so <sighs> I'm out of breath I like break a sweat so easy I'm not looking forward to this summer it's already so darn hot here in Florida and I uh, it's like I forget every year how hot it gets <laughs> um, but my pizza's almost done so I'm gonna be eating that shortly and um, Dylan's working out on the pool, so I'll show y'all what he's doing. He's actually using um, insulation panels to lay down flat to make sure that the pool is cushioned and that way no grass grows through it as well. Um, he's going to lay that down and then lay like Visqueen over it, I think is what it's called. Like plastic, just to make sure that nothing penetrates the pool. Last year, we laid plastic down and the grass grew right through it, right through our pool. Um, so that was a bummer because... Pools are kind of pricey and it, there was just no salv salvaging it. We tried patching it and it just didn't work. So um, we ended up just going ahead and getting a new one because as much as we were in our pool last year, it's something that we really feel like is necessary for us. So um, got that. The same one as we got last year. I'll link it below if y'all are interested. If you are in the market for a pool or if you need a pool this year, go ahead and buy them now because when summer hits, they're going to be sold out again and price the prices are going to go up. Um, the one we got doesn't have a pump, but we already had the pump, so we didn't have to buy the one with the pump. And I think it was $2.98 without the pump, I believe. I could be wrong. I'll put it on the screen just to be safe, but... Still expensive, but like I said, as much as we're in the pool and we play in our yard and stuff, we felt like it was worth it. So, anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I'm going to separate this meat now and stop talking. <laughs> It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights So it is the next day. Um, I just cleaned out the pool. Obviously, y'all just seen me do that. <laughs> um, but like all the pollen is falling right now, so it's honestly the worst time to put the pool up. But Dylan was super excited to get it done, and it's done, and it looks really nice. Um, it actually looks really, really good, and it's a lot more level than the last pool we had, so we're excited about that. Um, I got some new plants. I'll show y'all real quick. So I got these. I got two of them for 15 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, it came with like a pretty pot and it hangs so I got that one hanging up right there and then the other one is just sitting right here on this little table um, but I need to I need to fix this and spray off my cushions but they're so pretty I really want to hang it up on our little canopy um, same with the other one but we just don't have another hook right now so we've gotten a lot of questions on this fence that goes around our pool and these are just regular posts and we did some hog wire I think this is called or I don't know what it is it's a roll of fence and I think we got 50 foot for like 58 bucks or something like that and then these are just one by ones that we put along so you can see they're not like perfect or anything but it does the job it looks pretty and then I just stained it the same color as our canopy and then we planted some viney plants to start growing up around it so it gives the pool like the privacy and it's wrapping around so I'm excited about that and we have a few new ones that are sprouting here. And these are growing up as well. 
so yeah that's the pool fence like I said nothing fancy but it does the job and it keeps the kids out of there when we don't want them in there and I need to trim this this thing looks terrible it's dying but it's still growing so maybe I should just like chop it off here but there's new sprouts so I don't know what to do it is so nice outside and so relaxing I could just sit out here all day I love being outside do you like being outside too, Zoe? <laughs> She's like, who are you talking to, Mom? Oh, here she comes. Don't lick my face. I love you, but I don't want you in my face. Oh, look at this. Is, this is a great look. Y'all, my hair is... <laughs> my hair is so oily right now. Oh my gosh, it's bad. But I'm trying to train it. <sighs> it sucks. Whenever you have like naturally oily hair, it's really hard, really hard to train your hair to not be so oily. Like you have to be gross for a day. It's bad. I'm trying to wait until this evening. I wanted to get up and wash my hair, but I'm like, no, just put it up in a bun. You're not going anywhere. Who cares? You're not going to be seen. And then here I am filming a video. Baby. He's just a little baby. <laughs> Oh, she's so sweet. I love it when she does that, when she tucks her head. It's the cutest thing ever. You are probably the sweetest thing I've ever seen. But how are y'all doing? What have y'all been up to the past couple days, couple weeks? Um, do y'all have any plans? A lot of y'all asked if I had any plans for this like spring break time. And we don't, but we did decide that we're probably going to do something after spring break. Like once everyone kind of travels back to where they came from, <laughs> um, then we'll probably do something. But oh, I don't want that. I don't want this little toy. You just want me to play? Is that what you want? You want to play? You're so sweet, Zoe. Honey! <laughs> oh, she stole it! <laughs> hey, y'all. So, it is the next day. Um, and I figured I would quickly share with y'all a Sheen try-on clothing haul. I asked over on Instagram if y'all were interested in it. And um, some of you said you weren't. Some of you said you were. So, I figured I would just include it into this vlog since it's a little short. And I didn't get a whole lot of footage yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it, honestly. I was kind of tired. We had a lot to do. We went um, vehicle shopping for my husband, and that is stressful, and it takes hours to do that, so I just didn't have much time. But anyway, um, I figured I'd show you this clothes that I ordered from that website. They're really, really cheap and affordable items, plus um, I feel like they're great quality considering how cheap the prices are, in my opinion, and everything I've ever ordered from there has been pretty much what I ordered. The color might be a little off, but so far I've had a great experience with the website. I will link it below if you're interested. It's not sponsored or anything, and it's not an affiliate link, just so you, it's easy for you to find. Um, but the stuff I'm gonna show you, I'm not sure if I will be able to link below. If I can, I will. I know that with this website being so cheap, things sell out quickly. So as soon as you see something, you either have to buy it or it's gone within a couple hours. So. Keep that in mind, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. All right, so the first shirt I got was this really cute scalloped like tank. I think this is so pretty. I love the button detail. This one was $5.90 after my discount, and I did get like a 10% off coupon, I think, after spending a certain amount of money, or no, it wasn't a certain amount of money. I think it was because it was my first time ordering from that email because I couldn't remember my old email so I created a new account but this one's really pretty and it has like oh hold on let me move my hair out of the way it has like the scallop detail in the back I thought that was really really pretty all right so this next one is just a pretty much the same style but without the scalloped and I like the way it cuts right here on the armpit you know like we all not all of us but some of us have like that unflattering look right there and it just kind of hides that just makes me feel a little bit more confident wearing a tank top like this and I love the wine color I would most likely tuck it in just so it's a little bit more flattering on my body shape but I really do love this one too and it was also um, $5.80 
All right, so here is the next top that I got. It's really pretty. I love the color of it for spring. And then I just paired it with these white jeans that my grandma recently gave me. And these are from Walmart. Y'all, I'm obsessed with these. They are so, so comfortable. They have like the, um, the buttons instead of the zipper. And I love that because a lot of times I like to tuck in my, you know, my shirts and stuff. And I want it to be cute. I don't want it to be like just a plain zipper. But anyway... I love this shirt so much, and this one was 14 bucks, so it was a little pricey compared to the other shirts, but the quality is there, and this is a medium, by the way. So are all the other shirts. The only thing I got in a large was the dress that I'll show y'all in a minute. Okay, so this next one was $6, and I really love... I just like anything super flowy, especially during the summer here in Florida. It gets so hot. So this shirt was perfect for that. Um, it, I thought it was going to be red, but it ended up being like a burnt orange color. It's kind of pulling up red on camera, but it's like a, like a dark burnt orange. I really like the little detail right here. It's really pretty. I, I really like this one a lot. For six bucks, you can't beat that. Some thrift stores don't even sell stuff this cheap. So... Really, really love it. Um, so this next shirt is super cute. I am like feeling myself in this outfit. I don't know. It just makes me feel like a little like, mm. I don't <laughs> anyway, I do like it. And I only paid five bucks for this. Could not believe that it was so cheap. It's, um... It's not like your t-shirt material. It's like that 100% polyester. So it's very lightweight. I love this shirt. I will wear this till it falls apart. And I like it paired with the white jeans as well. So this is the last shirt. I really, really love this one. But whenever it came in, it had like, it was hemmed way up here like this. It was attached. So I just took my tweezers and plucked the little strings out. So that way it had more of a neckline. And it just was a little bit more flattering on my shape. Um, but I do really, really like it. I think it's really cute. Um, it reminds me of like 4th of July or Valentine's Day. It's just very bright and cheery. I do, I like it a lot, um, and it was 13 bucks. And this is also a size medium, but because like I fluctuate weight quickly, like I'll gain 10, 15 pounds and then I'll drop, drop it again. And I like that this is super stretchy because if I lose weight, it will still look flattering on my shape. I don't have to like run out and buy new clothes. And every time I buy clothes, I always keep that in mind. Like, is it gonna look okay if I lose a little weight or if I gain a little bit? Um, because like I said, I do, I do go up and down a lot, but anyway, I love it. thought it was cute. So this is the last thing I'm going to show y'all. This was 20 wow. bucks. Thank you, sweet boy. That seriously just made my day. <laughs> um, but this is really pretty and I plan on getting family photos done in this. I ran to Duncan to go grab a coffee to give me a little pick me up and also to kind of just let the kids get out of the house for a little bit. We just went for a little drive and they both fell asleep. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I am like me and the kids both have the personality type where we need to leave our house sometimes. Like whether it's just to go for a drive, go to the park. We just need, sometimes we just need to like leave the mess, leave it all and just leave and just get like a fresh start. Um, I've been like that for as long as I can remember. Ever since having the kids, even before I had the kids, I'm I just have that personality type where I need a break from my own house. <laughs> so I left, figured we'd go get a coffee and just go for a quick little drive around the block or whatever. And um, they both fell asleep. They were so tired and they would not take a nap. So it's so funny to me that they're like, I'm not tired. And then we get in the car and they pass out. Makes no sense. Um, so I've just been sitting here editing while they take a nap. So it's been fine. It worked out. Um, but I wanted to end today's video and just say thank you guys so much for watching. Anything that I can link below for you, I will. Um, and also, I will have the meal plan from the grocery haul listed down below too. But thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Um, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.